Researchers in both Calgary and Edmonton are recruiting for a national project studying whether giving pregnant women the pertussis vaccine will protect their newborns against whooping cough during the first few months of life. So the primary goal of this study is to see if we can protect young infants, so those too young to be actively immunized and protected from whooping cough uh, or pertussis um, by immunizing their mums against pertussis in the last trimester of pregnancy. Whooping cough starts as a mild cold but rapidly progresses to a severe cough that can include a gasping intake of breath that sounds like a whoop. Very young children may develop significant distress and require hospitalization. Recovery can take months. So we enroll them at 30 to 32 weeks with an a detailed ultrasound and our obstetrical colleagues uh, are ensure that they are truly low risk and the infant is well. Then at 34 to 35 weeks we see them in our clinic and at that time they uh, are randomized to receive either tetanus and diphtheria vaccine or tetanus, diphtheria and acellular pertussis. So a combination of women we see and I don't know and they don't know which vaccine they receive until such time as a study um, reveals, uh, breaks the codes and analyzes the data. If the research shows that pregnant mothers who receive the pertussis vaccine pass on enough antibodies to their babies to provide protection, then it could be an effective strategy to eliminate or lessen the severity of the illness in the youngest and most vulnerable age group. I think it's super important for just the, the public health and for you know c community good in general to be able to do this kind of study. I don't know if I was in the vaccination or the placebo group, so I don't know if it was uh, of any assistance to my little guy uh, right now, but it, it's so important to be able to develop these vaccinations so that my you know friends' kids and you know my other family members that have kids and even when my kids have kids, these types of things are developed and they can protect the, the little ones. Well, I think when the results are in, there will be a great benefit for society as a whole. Me personally, I, if, if I'm in the controlled group, then yeah, there might be a little bit, but I think the bigger picture is what the study focuses on. Researchers in Calgary and Edmonton are hoping to enroll more pregnant moms in the study. To be eligible, the pregnancy must be considered low risk. Study participants will randomly receive either the pertussis vaccine or standard tetanus diphtheria booster. Our lead site uh, in Halifax, Dr. Scott Halpern, is hopeful that we will be able to recruit uh, at least our initial 50 uh, by the end of December, and we're about halfway there, uh, looking to enroll about 25 more women and their subsequent infants. Expectant mums interested in participating in the Calgary arm of the study are asked to phone the research coordinator at 403-955-2981. In Edmonton, call 780-735-6641.